I never should have told you about George. No, it's fine. I'm glad I know about him and the vet. You really get around. What did you just say to me? It's unforgivable. I don't remember ever asking you to forgive me. So was anything a phase? Who's next? Alex? Because I hear he likes to sleep around. You two have that in common. You don't get to call me a whore. When I met you, I thought I had found the person that I was going to spend the rest of my life with. I was done. So all the boys and all the bars and all the obvious daddy issues, who cared? Because I was done. You left me. You chose Addison. I'm all glued back together now. I make no apologies for how I chose to repair what you broke. You don't get to call me a whore. This thing with us is finished. It's over. Finally. Yeah, it's done. It is done. driving me crazy with the hovering. <laughs> this could be a mistake. This. Us. You, you're, you're a really nice guy and, and, well, you, you don't want to get involved with me. If you knew me. Scary. Finn. And damaged. Say, I told you. If you knew me. If you knew my family, if I told you the guys that I've slept with lately, the scary and damage may actually be more than you can handle. My mother's dead. She got cancer when I was 10 and she suffered for a really long time. And then she died. And my father never recovered. It's kind of like he died with her, except that his body's above ground and permanently placed in front of a TV with a bottle of scotch in his lap. The last woman I slept with was my wife, but she died too. It was a car crash, so it was quick. She didn't suffer, which I appreciated. Don't worry. I'm thinking that my luck is beginning to change because I've met you. And you like dogs and you enjoy pony births. And you have the ability to save lives. I never said I wasn't scary and damaged, too.